Hello children, uh, today we are going to start our next poem from our book Beehive that is No Men Are Foreign. So the uh, poem is uh, written by James Kirkip. This poem actually conveys the strong message of humanity. According to the poet, humanity is above all the religions. We think the people from the ark other countries as foreigners or we consider them as our enemies but it is wrong they are not our enemies so let's uh, first i'll give you the little introduction and then i'll do the explanation introduction here the title no men are foreign means that no men belong to another country the poet wants to say that all men are same and equal he actually wants to promote uh, here the poet actually wants to promote the concept of brotherhood universal brotherhood actually you can say uh, the poet wants to tell us that this world is same all men are same they live they eat they sleep the same way as we do everyone gets the bounties of nature like sunshine rain land etc in equal measure as we get so we can also say that this poem is a peace poem so let's start the explanation of the poem this poem is uh, there are five stanzas in the poem so first let's start remember no men are strange no countries are foreign in this stanza the poet is trying to convey that no men are strange and no countries are foreign uh, through this poem poet wants to convey i've already told you that wants to convey the idea of universal brotherhood there are the borders between different countries poet uh, is looking into the future and he wants to remove or to you can say he doesn't want any borders on the different countries so that there is one land only if there are no borders it means all the uh, men on this on this earth or on this land will consider one, themselves as one beneath all uniforms a single body breathes the poet is trying to tell us that as people belong to different countries different places they have different dresses or or uh, you can say there are different soldiers of the different armies of different countries but under the uniform or under the costumes of the people of different countries or different states you can say there is a single body that breathes the body is same everybody's body is breathing like ours the land our brothers walk upon like as we walk on the land our brothers or which are in the foreign country or are in the different state they also walk upon the land is the earth like this in which we all shall lie and this is only the earth where after death we all will lie means after death our grave or we all are going to uh, blend or going to get mixed with earth or with soil they are here the people which are in the foreign country they are also going to mingle up with the land or with the soil or with the earth after their death so this is the explanation of the first stanza it's written here i'll repeat in the first stanza the poet says that no men are strange no country is foreign so he is attempting to remove the borders from the earth which have been erected to separate different countries then no country will be foreign we will feel every country as our own land when there won't be any borders and everyone will be free to move around the poets the poet wants to say that the entire earth is one and all the people who live on earth belong to one human race then he says that inside the uniform worn by the soldiers of our, of different countries the human being is same god has made us same way uh, made us similar in all the ways we, uh, then he says that the soldiers of our uh, the soldiers are our own brothers we sh we walk upon the same mother earth and on after our death shall lie in the grave in the same earth this is the explanation of the first stanza now second they too are aware of sun air and water like they here they refers to the people or uh, of different countries other than ours they too are aware of sun air and water 
here the poet is telling that as we are enjoying the gifts of the nature bounties of the nature like sun air and water same way those people who are living in the other countries they are also enjoying the bounties of the nature are fed by the peaceful harvest and wars long winter starved and when there is peace there is no war they are growing the crops enjoying the crop enjoying their meals they are also enjoying as we do but at the time of war or at the time of winter they also starve as we star starve and their hands now the poet compares their hands with our hands like we work really hard to get something similarly they also work very hard like ours so that is why the poet has compared their hands with our hands a labor not different from our we also do the hard work similarly they also do the hard work they refer to those people who belong to other countries we call them foreigner and discriminate them and fight with them also the poet says that nature has given us all the bounties to all the people also just like hell he has given to us everybody gets sunlight air and water in equal measures as we get which means god does not differentiate between people from different countries we all do farming during the time of peace and when there is war we live uh, when there is no war we live a relaxed life and eat the things given to us by nature further he adds that the way we starve during wars winter time is the same for those belonging to the other countries even they don't get food at the same time like we do not get at the time of wars so he wants to say that foreigners who belong to another country as we and we we all are same and then the poet says even their hands are same as ours they work very hard just like we do he is giving all these examples to convey the message that there is no difference in us and the people belonging to the different countries remember they have eyes like ours that wake or sleep and strength that can be won by love in every land is common life that all can recognize and understand here the poet says that they also have eyes like us like we sleep we relax we wake up we sleep similarly they also do all these things and they have a strength like we have the strength to win everything with love they also have the strength to win everything with love in every land is common life here the poet is trying very strongly conveying that the life is common everywhere there is one thing common in the different countries that is life here the life means humanity or the human beings that all can recognize and understand that everybody values life and everybody understand the poet asks the readers to remember something he says that we should keep in mind that the people of another country whom we think to be our enemies have been bestowed by go by god with similar appearance like us god has given them eyes like ours which open when awake and close when sleep similarly he has given them the strength which we can win through love then he says that in every country in every land there is one common thing that is life life here means the things that are living if we can recognize them if we can understand the feelings or the emotions or uh, or if we understand the people of different countries then there will not be any fight or there won't be any war let us remember whenever we are told to hate our brothers it is ourselves that we shall dispose us betray condemn remember who take arms against each other here the poet is very nicely saying that whenever somebody tells us to take the arms or to get uh, to get ready to fight with the people of different countries it means we are not fighting with the people of different countries but we are fighting with our own selves they are our brothers whom are we hating we are hating with Uh, we are hating our own brothers and sisters it is ourselves we are, whom are we giving uh, whom are we uh, putting at loss it won't be anybody else loss it will be our own loss whom are we going to betray whom are we going to cheat we are going to cheat condemn our own selves only and 
remember who we who take arm against each other it is who against whom we are going to take the arms it means they are no different from us if we take the arm against another one it means we are taking the arm against our own self this is the message conveyed by the poet so the poet says that we should remember that whenever someone tells us to hate a person from another country to think him as our enemy and whenever we think someone to be our enemy then we de- then we deprive we hate or we condemn we cheat ourselves and condemn ourselves he said that he says that we should stay away from such negativity we should not consider anyone to be our enemy during a war both the parties must bear the loss and that is why the poet says that the war is not in our favor he says whenever we pick up any weapon against someone we should remember one thing that that weapon is not for any uh, another one that weapon is against our own self it is the human life that we defile our hells of fire and dust outrage the innocence of that air is everywhere our own remember no men are foreign and no countries are strange in the last stanza the poet is saying by having these actions by taking arms arms against each other by fighting with our uh, with the neighboring countries or with the people of different countries whom are we polluting we defile pollute we whom are we de- defi- polluting we are polluting our own motherland we are polluting our own land and when these people die their bodies are burned and the ashes get mixed up in the same sand and when we kill someone because of their blood and the blood shed done during the war pollutes our environment the blood is there in the soil the blood is there in the air it pollutes us of air that is everywhere our own which air it uh, pollutes the blood shed done by the war the air we breathe in that is our own air so here the poet is trying to tell again going back to the first line remember no men are foreign and no countries are strange so here the poet has very strongly favored the idea of universal brotherhood and that humanity is above all the religions so we should keep in mind that whenever we pick up weapons against any person we make the earth dirty because of weapons kill people and their bodies which fall on the earth make it dirty whenever war happens it leads to a lot of bloodshed fire and death these dead bodies accumulates on the earth and make it impure how they make it uh, make the earth impure by polluting it or you can say it is not the literal mean impure the fire of war which erupts the smoke which comes out the dust which fills the air it is so dirty it is polluted and out it is it outrages the purity of the air it takes away the purity of the air or it pollutes the air with all these things poet wants to give us a message that we should not indulge in war finally the poet and the poem by writing the first line in reverse and saying that remember no men are foreign and no countries are strange i hope children this uh, explanation is uh, will help you in getting the poem this is really an important poem so kindly go through it carefully thank you children